Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. Oh, I, the music stopped. I can't, you see, I got to remember that I play the theme and I can't let the music stop. So let's do it just right, okay? Here we go. Here, there's the theme, see? I love this opening, actually, but I forget how I'm supposed to do it. Bum, 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 bum. Wait for the music to end before you can. I can start talking here and say that we're going on until midnight tonight. And then I have to wait for the music to stop. See, then I can do that. Okay. Otherwise, it's abrupt. Ah, uh, well. Anyway. Hello. Uh, we're only on, uh, we're on at uh, 1030 tonight. Because I've got all kinds of technical difficulties going with the network side of, uh, of, of, of GabNet. And nobody listens to the network anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing this. But uh, it's the way that the people uh, deliver their shows to me and so on. And so right now I am reinstalling, uh, restoring a machine to an earlier program, an uh, earlier day of, of the way it was, Okay. And hopefully this will be a day when it... See, I installed Catalina, if anybody knows about Macs. I installed Catalina in our server machine, and what a fucking mistake that was, okay? Now, you see, there's also one other thing that happens. Whenever I turn this computer off and then I turn it back on again, and by the way, this computer works flawlessly. If I don't have... Oh, knock on wood. But what happens is every time I turn this thing off, it, it changes the picture. And see, it's too bright. So I, and, and when I try to set it, it sets. But then if I turn the machine off, it resets back to the way it was. So watch what happens now, first of all. Hey, you get me in uh, old-fashioned, high-def size. No, that isn't high-def. Well, that's high-def, kind of the standard definition. And then what I got to do is I got to go up here and click on that. And you see, now I'm widescreen, but I'm still too bright. So I have, uh, not very bright myself, but there we go. Down there. And now I look fine. Now everything is fine. And I turn off the autofocus so it won't go like that. And we're ready to go. But if I turn this machine off again, I got to do that all over again and I forget to do it. Okay. Anyway, this other machine over here is restoring. Uh, who knows when it's going to restore to. It turns out that we have, uh, what happens is our, our other programs connect to the server here, and then here they drop in their programs. But if they can't uh, grab onto it, uh, it's a problem. And what happened was a thing called Remote PC, which we use uh, uh, to do this with, was completely down uh, this evening. Uh, and for the, something with the company, it turns out. I, I thought it was with us, but it turns out it was the company because now it's working perfectly, okay? So anyway, whatever. So uh, I, I had so many things to attend to that I didn't want to start till a, a half hour later than we usually do. And I hope you don't mind that because I'm here anyway, all right? And we'll open up the lines and start talking to people. Let me activate the line, okay? And then we're ready to go. And look, I'm not even wearing a hat tonight. You know why? Because I got a haircut. Which one, you say? This one here, I got cut. Uh, no, the, I go down there and they just... <laughs> and then I come out looking like this. And I would go completely bald. I would like do the whole bald thing. But that's more work than just getting a haircut and letting it grow out, okay? Because you got to... Every day you gotta scrape and clean it and tighten it up and do whatever you have to do with it. It's a lot of work and who needs that? Anyway, we're waiting for you to start calling, folks. Is anybody gonna do it? 
They go, oh, well, Alex isn't on tonight. Well, I, I put up on the Facebook page what was happening here. So let's see if anybody calls. If nobody calls, I've got this whole thing to fix over here. Let me see how it's doing. Uh, when it starts out, it says it's got like four hours. And then all of a sudden, it goes down to 25 minutes left before it's finished doing what it's supposed to do. Anyway, uh, here comes there comes Phil, uh, and I think he has a space from last night, so I don't even have to do anything. There he is in all his glory. Here comes Kathleen, and she had a place last night on the first page here. So I think, what what'd you what you uh, what did you dub? Hello there. Uh, Kathleen, what did you what did you uh, zoom in on yourself for? Uh, I don't know. Push the computer back. Hmm? Oh, there it is. So anyway, so I, what I have to do all the time is I have to uh, somehow. It's important that I, uh, 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 d uh, you know, try to upgrade things and make things work better. Do not. Put in Catalina. Okay, that's all I've got to say. If you've got a Mac, do not install Catalina. It's not ready for prime time. So what were they touting that Catalina had that uh, it, Mojave doesn't? It, it doesn't have that much, but I always like to upgrade to the newest operating system if I can because mm -hmm. it does. it is faster and speedier, and they have, they've, they've supposedly fixed some things. But the networking, I, I got online to read about this, completely fucked. Okay, yeah. completely fucked. So, uh, you know, all my machines can read all my other machines, and that machine could even read all the other machines, but the, the other machines could not read that machine. And then I, I went see. online to see if anybody was having the same problem, and they were having the same problem. So fuck them all, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them all. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. When I when I upgraded to Mojave, uh, I had problems yeah. from Sierra. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it, things didn't work. Yeah, uh, people say, "What are you doing? Throwing stuff at Sean?" <laughs> yeah, well, I'm back on the quarters, which means if he or I cuss. So last night through the show, when I said a bad word, I'd go fine quarter, and he was loving it. What you you play that curse game? You don't want your kid to curse. Right. <laughs> so can he curse if you take his eye out with the quarter? No, but when he was two, I'm at my bar where I am now, and I'm on my computer. Oh, yeah. And he climbs up. He's about two, and he looks at me. He goes, "I bitch a bitch a fuck," and I was all, "What?" He goes, "I bitch a bitch a fuck," and I go, "You can't say that." He goes, "Fuck," because all I used to say was "son of a bitch," "fuck." And I told him, no, it's not. I'm telling a story. Well, can I can I can I say something to you and to Sean as yes. as a pleading for this young man who should be allowed to use the King's English, which includes he does. which includes the word fuck. Okay, now let me explain fuck to you. I want you to find me any other word in the English language that the in one a seed. No, that that in one word that it connotes that action. I can't. You can't come up with one. There isn't one. Nope. You could go make love, you know, things like that. But <laughs> fuck is a, and it's a very important word. It's more important than shit. Now, fornicate doesn't mean fuck? For, uh, fornicate doesn't mean fuck. Uh, fornicate uh, does mean fuck. But it, well. <laughs> it's one well, word, just more syllables. Yeah, yeah. it just. It just doesn't work, okay? Fuck is a very unique term in the you English language. You fornicator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You fornicator. So you know. Now I I, I don't think uh, I don't think our boy uh, Tony, who I'm trying to get on here. Wait a minute. He, he hasn't shown up on the thing yet. Hold on a second. Hey, Tony's uh -huh. bearding out. Yeah, yeah I'm I didn't shave. I got a haircut, but I didn't shave. Oh, well, I, I got a haircut today, too. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I can't Where? tell, Alex. Where? <laughs> what? I can't tell. Yeah, it's fuck. a little long. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> no, fornicate you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, for some reason, what's happening he's tonight? He's not coming up. Tony He's right there, and he's in front of me. I know. I'm uh, trying. You're looking I, at I, Skype. I, I, look, let's I see. Live. Uh, there's a... 
Oh, and Tony. Maybe, oh, you you changed yours, haven't you? Yeah, I'm. I'm think, yeah. But you're webhead service. now, right? Yeah, I'm Spider Man. Yeah, webhead. Webhead. I, I thought he was meth head. See, I was looking yeah. for Tony Quisp. Yeah, that was my other alias. It seems like Surface when I logged into this new one. I don't know why it did that. I got to figure that out. <clears throat> really? Yeah, I don't know why. It's the new Surface I got. I don't know why it changed. I didn't even I have to just put in uh, Jeff. He was he was there already. Okay. Yeah, I already had a spot for him. You see, if I have you logged in, if I have you in that spot with your name, and you call again the next night, you fall right into that spot. So, you know. So you really don't want new callers. <laughs> I, I don't want any callers. <laughs> the no. usual suspects. Right. In the same spots. In yes. the same spots. It's getting very boring, folks. So a lot of people call to put them in different places, okay? Do, do you like me without the cap? I didn't well, like you with the cap. The huh? I didn't like you with the cap. Yeah. <laughs> outside, maybe. Uh, uh, well, no, outside, I I'd wear a cap. Yeah. The guys wear caps when they're outside, not because they're balding, but because the sun comes down oh, on the top know. of your head and causes a, a, a bad mm. burn. Uh, you know that, Phil, from having been bald. <laughs> because even yeah, though you, even yeah, though you had those, those plugs, they're not working anymore. Well, I can't believe you paid five thousand dollars for plugs. I paid twelve thousand. Oh my god! Twelve thousand dollars for those plugs in two thousand four. By the way, every now and then I will look over here. Where to see are what they doing? Huh? Okay, I got fifteen. Where minutes. Oh. Huh? They're here. I, I had nothing. Yeah. All I had was on the sides. Really? Yeah, but isn't that enough? I mean, twelve grand—that's a lot. Well, they wanted twenty, but if and you don't, all if, the if, comic if, books I could buy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that just sounds like wouldn't you just rather just be bald for twelve grand? I couldn't see myself doing that. No, you know, uh, at, at the age that I, you got those hair plugs, you would have gotten laid more by taking that twelve thousand and spending it on hookers. You know, I you spent more than that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Not on hookers though, on expensive dates. Yeah. God, when I first got divorced, I I, I must have been spending four grand a month just on American Express on dinners. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Well, you see, what I'm saying here is, uh, you you did the plugs because you thought you'd get laid, didn't you? Actually, don't say you yes did it. No, no. When I lost my hair, I didn't give a shit because by the time I I was I losing it when I knew you, Kathleen. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't care. Well, you know, you know what the thing is is uh, when I first I was married for 23 years. And so I get back into the dating scene and I go on Match.com in the early days of Match.com, you know, yeah. 2003, yeah. 2004. Yeah. And people are very, um, uh, what would you say? Uh, they're um, very, uh, uh, they're, it's almost like road rage on, uh, on the Internet. You know, they'd say, oh, I don't date any bald guys. Uh, what do you mean? You don't? Okay, fine. You know, so I said, fuck it. I got hair, <laughs> you know, and they took it from back here and they stick it up there. Yeah, yeah. And well, you know, you know, I, you know, I, I, um, uh, I just, I'll tell you what. Nobody happens. should date anybody, regardless of whether they have hair or not. I'll tell I mean, you, that's uh, just yeah, so. I'll, I'll tell you something about Kathleen that I do remember. You used to like to come with me when I went to get my hair cut. Yes. Yeah. Vidal Sassoon. I went to Vidal Sassoon, and and he did. I mean, I did. I had hair at that with time. Scissors. Yeah, with scissors. The whole thing was with scissors. Now I go down to my uh, Harlem barber and he goes, nyam, 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 and that's it, you know. Uh, and if I went to Vidal Sassoon to give me this kind of haircut, they would still use scissors, you know. But anyway, now, uh, wait a minute, let, me when, uh, let me finish the yeah. story. She oh. had something about haircuts. I don't know what it was, but it made you horny, didn't it? Yes. Every time Did I you? got every time I got a haircut, you would go. Whoa. It was that clean hair look. I don't know. I, I don't know, no but, but I I uh, you you went right, Randy, when when I got a haircut. What can I? Say? Did you collect toenail and fingernail no, clippings as no. well, and then have this little doll in in a dark box where you no. would apply the stuff? Yeah. No. Uh, you're not admitting to it. Now, my that wife, my disgusting. wife, my wife is the other way. Now, she yeah. gets horny when it's growing out. 
because she's always touching it and going, man, your hair grows so fast. I'm jealous of you. It grows so fast. And I go, well, yeah, I, what can I say? You know, it's the testosterone. It's the same thing's giving me prostate cancer. So, you know, the testosterone caused the baldness. Oh, really? You know? Wow. So that means Phil doesn't have a lot of testosterone. No, it? I have too much. But, too, mu too much. Uh, there's 3,500 follicles that oh, are okay. back here that are now on top. See, so if you have too much testosterone, yeah, you you, you, if you have too much testosterone, you go bald. Right. So women, this is a, a clue for you. If you see any bald guys out there uh, and you want to have a good night, uh, they got a lot of testosterone going. Okay? Does that make sense? I just I just made gave a plug for all bald guys to get laid. A plug. A plug. <laughs> yeah. But I'm bump. A plug that works. Now, in yeah. the in the days early days of plugs, they would take like clumps of hair and stick them in, and then when you'd lose the rest of the hair around it, you'd see guys with just clumps. Yeah. My guy uh, put in like one, two, or three follicles. So in the in the in the top and the back, it was three follicles, but in the front, it was one follicle. So it was much more natural looking, or is more natural looking than uh, the guys who got plugs. Yeah. What was, was it, it like planting rice? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Matter of fact, that's what it's like when you when it first germinates. <laughs> yeah, but uh, um, uh, but but anyway, I, I I don't know what it was with you and and uh, uh, Kathleen and uh, haircuts. Yeah, haircuts. But you just loved me when I when I got a haircut that turned you on. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, but then again, you were a weird broad anyway. Yeah. You know, so what can I say? You know. Um, Very low key and uh, introvert who desperately wished she was an an extrovert who desperately wished she was an introvert. <laughs> I mean, Sean and I are very much homebodies unless we go to the flea markets to look for comic books and such. You know, I'm saying all this stuff with him in the room. I shouldn't be revealing your history. No, he's on his history. way to take a shot. He's taking a shower. Oh, okay. Well, no, he and I watched the reenactment of the Matt Lauer thing. And, uh, last oh, night, that was very funny. The Matt Lauer, the with your with your pussycat dolls or what? Those were the window kitties from your apartment. They were. Yes. Oh wow, yes, and I gave them to you, didn't I? Yes. And you know what I had for the longest time, and I don't know, it may still be in storage. You gave me uh, your, you had an iguana. And you had a whoopee for the iguana, a little toy yeah. for the iguana, which was a little cloth iguana. Yeah. Yeah. And I kept that on my clock radio for years and years and years. Yeah. And I don't know where it is now, but it may, it's probably still somewhere in a box. I'm sure. You know. But, uh, well, that, Phil, we, we offended Phil. He's gone. Yeah, Phil's gone. <laughs> Phil's yeah. left. The, hair, the whole hair follicle thing got to him, yep. you know. My son, his hair just grows straight up. When he was a baby, his hair laid down, but now it just grows straight up. So when he goes to get a haircut, which will probably be this week, he gets a Sergeant Carter from uh, Gomer Pyle USMC. Oh, really? Yep, a number one on the sides with the flat top. Why? It's a flat top. They used to call it a flat yeah. top. That was the haircut. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Why? What is it about a flat top that he likes? Well, because his hair just grows. One time, he and his little buddy wanted to let their hair grow out, and they were like in second grade, and all I pictured him was, you know, Oprah Winfrey afro, because his hair literally just grows straight up like a chia pet. Wow. Uh, now and it was so long that when we took him to the gal to get his hair cut, his hair is so thick, it took her over an hour. Really? Yes. Is that hair. is that the Mexican hey. is that the Mexican blonde in him? Because he certainly doesn't get it from you. Your hair is kind of no, thin. No, uh because -uh. when I was in Mexico, this was years ago. Simone's mom showed me his like confirmation picture of Simone. Yeah. His hair's like in the back, sticking straight up, and it's like she took some lard and whoop, gelled the the yeah. front down. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so he looks like me. He looks like Simone, but he's he's just like me. Well, he's a I mean, you saw him the other night. He's a good-looking kid. He's he's going to be a heartbreaker. You oh, know? handsome man. And he's yeah. such a good well, kid. Well, I used to see pictures what? of him on Facebook because you would put them up. And he was a kind of a – he was a good – when he was young, he was chubby, but he's not now. 
No, you know what? He's built just like my dad. So my dad passed away when I was 10. Yeah. So my dad growing up was very husky. But as soon as he hit high school, he shot up to 6'5". So Sean was very conscious, you know, very self-conscious of his weight. And I told him, dude, listen, as soon as you're in high school, you're going to shoot up. Well, two, it was probably last year. You know, he's already almost 6'1". Yeah. I'm 6'1". But he's pretty much toe to toe with me. Yeah, wow. Because he, but he, he's a good looking kid. I mean, you know, I'm, so yeah. As I say, he's going to be a, an absolute heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Yes. Uh, let's, uh, by the way, say hello to uh, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Hi. How you doing? I'm excellent. You're always excellent. Well, how else should I be? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I were you. Uh, I would be crying all the time because I was in a wheelchair. That's why I appreciate you. You're not. But I'd be bitching and moaning and saying, you know, I'd be standing, I'd be going to grocery stores and yelling at people who park in the handicapped parking. You know, I'd be doing things like that. <laughs> at least you'd get out at that point. <laughs> you know, uh, Patrick only sits in that wheelchair when he's on GabNet. All the other times he's running marathons, he's just bullshitting us with his wheelchair. You know? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. I'm if I'm looking uh, over here every now and then, it's because uh, I'm looking to see if the thing is is working, and uh, I'm checking it out now. Oh, the computer? Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, it says it has one minute left. It has less than a minute left. Now, uh, that, that lies to you, you know, uh, it's... Oh, it started you know, out at three hours, 45 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Hey, hey uh, you said something about an iguana. I, I've got a alligator from, uh, uh, that, you know, it used to be one of those things you'd get in the 40s or the 50s in Florida. Uh, yeah. And they, and they make it into an ashtray. An ashtray. Yeah, it's, it's an is alligator. It, is it a real alligator? Yeah, it's a real alligator. That is terrible. Yeah, well, that it's, is it's, just it's gotta horrible. Be, it's got to be 80, 90 years, 80 years old, you know? And uh, yeah, well, I don't care. It's still horrible. Oh, no, it, it, I would not. Would you cute. want any of you want that around your house? I, I love this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Phil for you. It's down yeah. at the bottom. You got all alligator. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, good, <clears throat> good for you, Mr. Alligator Man. Yeah. You know. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let's talk. Oh, you got the iguana. I mean, yeah. last night we didn't uh, talk about politics. Uh, so wait, wait a minute. Let me see here. Did you Where see the we? Biden uh, uh, thing with Anderson Cooper today? Uh, the Biden yeah. thing with no. A no. What what, what oh, was the Trump? Biden thing? With uh, Anderson yeah, Cooper? he had a uh, forum. Uh, I, I believe it was on uh, gay and LGBTQ. T R U M B. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. Biden yeah. couldn't help himself. He actually tried to hug Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper pushed kind of back. And then the next time Biden came to him, you know how he was inappropriately touching women and kids. Now he was trying to kind of come out as gay in the in the gay atmosphere. And he was trying to hug off on Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper wouldn't have any of it. Now, you got to see it. I mean, when you, when you see Is Anderson it, you Cooper see gay? Yeah, yes. very gay. Yes. <laughs> well, what is so, very gay? And then what? He's Biden married. Gay by no, but is that, from a show? Maybe, you, you know, you're either gay or you're not gay. You're not very gay. Well, what if you're bi? Well, are you very bi? Could be. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm very straight. Look, you're either straight, gay, bi, transsexual, not or Biden. what is Biden. the other? Gigabyte or well, whatever. I was I trying know. to hug off, and even Anderson Cooper made a comment. It was very subtle, but uh, you know, because Biden couldn't go gay enough on this particular uh, interview. Oh, really? Or town hall? Oh, yeah. If if they show this again, I, I you know I don't I don't know if anybody's going to go there, but I I could see what was going on. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You you've got. He was pandering to the gays. And and be, and he was using trying to use Anderson well, Cooper. Well, everybody, everybody as, panders, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, when pandered. they're running for office, they're kissing ass like crazy. Except, of course, at a, a gay group. 
then you know right. you might kiss ass. <laughs> then you might kiss uh, something else. But, you know. And Biden, I think, was trying. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, was it about being about gay and so on? Was that the yes. discussion? Yeah, and they had a bunch of people from the audience who were uh, in in the gay community and activists in the gay community uh, asking questions. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the don't <clears throat> ask, no tell. How how many voted this way and that way? Yeah, uh, and. Uh, but the uh, so Biden said, you know, uh, when I I came out uh, and, and, you know, and then he made a joke about it, uh, you know, and. Uh, oh, yeah. Phil's right. I just Googled it. Yeah. Really? It, oh, did, did, they, yeah. did somebody else notice what it's I know? Okay. It's on Slate.com. They're saying that he was like acting like gay. <laughs> and, yeah. Like he was trying and he came on like. Oh, my gosh. You mean, I mean like Oprah Winfrey that? when she has an African American person? She's a hey girl. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, so I mean, did you? Did you? you know, Hillary does that. No, I, I used to say with Oprah uh, on on uh, t Tuesdays and Thursdays she was she's black. black. On yeah, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday she was white. You know, she always yeah. one day it was hello, I'm Oprah Winfrey, and then the next day it's how you doing, girl? You know, and I'm going. You know, Oprah come Winfrey. on, Oprah, decide decide what race you are. You know. Oprah would give away Buicks, and uh, but if there was a Jewish Oprah Winfrey, she says she would say, "You get a discount. You get a discount. You get a you discount." They said? Nothing's they free. said he was going to kiss Anderson Cooper. Play acted. Why would you yeah. even do that? That kind of sounds crass, really. It's Why? like, come on, Joe. Can't you just act like a human being, like an Who's adult? That? Yeah. Who, who uh, Biden? You're talking about? Yeah, they said he really I went over the top. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was going. He was going. He was. He was going gay. You know, he couldn't be gay enough. He and was genuine. real gay. I'd like to see what Anderson Cooper said to him. Uh, Anderson thought of him Cooper afterwards. pushed, him, pushed him off, oh, kept absolutely. backing away from him because Joe kept trying to put his hand around him and give him the hugs. And, uh, you know, it was very subtle, but, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I noticed if it. If Trump would have did that, what would they have did, Phil? What, would they, what would they that? have done, uh, Tony? I'm just. Well, they would have did. They would have did what they Trump did. did. Done all that. Yeah. Yeah. They would have did. They would have did it too. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I. No, I know what Tony's saying. Yeah. Using your New York accent again. Yeah. 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 They would have done it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta. I mean, I, I'm watching it, and it just looks stupid by Biden's part. Like it looks like insulting. Look, really. Biden. Well, Biden. It, it, Biden has it looks no. Insulting. Biden. So you agree with me? You observe. I'm agreeing with Look, Phil. I am not. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Joe Biden's. Okay. I mean, I will defend him here against Phil just because I offend <laughs> to defend anybody <laughs> against Phil. Like, but, but, but I mean, yeah. um, uh, the trouble with Joe Biden is he doesn't really have the human touch. You know. I like your cup. What do you mean by that? Like now he told there? Anderson Cooper, "I'm going to beat off like a drum." You know, <laughs> who's who's cup? No, uh, Joe Biden. Biden is like an old vaudeville act. Yeah, uh, okay. he, he said he said last week that he was going to beat Trump like a drum, and I just said he was going to beat off like a drum. It look, yeah, Anderson Cooper looked insulted, like, mm -hmm. what, like Joe. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, if Gloria was still alive, she would have come after Biden. Oh, his mother was for, nice. For touching his son, inappropriate. Yeah. You know, his older brother killed himself. They, say, I think. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Yeah, that's sad. Committed suicide. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, a couple, a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, just it yeah, was just man. recently, and then he lost his mother. But she was, she was what? She was old, ninety something. Ninety something. Yeah. You know. Uh, and she lived the full, huh? She lived the full life. Yeah, but I don't know if I would so want to have the same name as uh, was on everybody's asses in America. Oh, that's right. She was the change, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I and she also, Vanderbilt. if she was Gloria Did Vanderbilt, she, no. but that was her original name. I think that Cooper probably was her oh. married name. I believe yeah, she was the granddaughter of uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. she was she was once referred to as the uh, sad little rich girl, you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she was always played up in the press, you know. And her life was uh, just one drama after another. 
And then in later life, she did things like the uh, like the jeans and really put herself on the map and became a very and, and clothing lines. Yeah, great uh, businesswoman. Now, yeah. now, who was the woman that was the heiress to Woolworths? She was. She had a fucked up life. That was too. Barbara uh, Woolworth, wasn't it? I think her name. No, was no. Her, what, her last name was not Woolworth. It was uh, Jordash. No, she was, married, she was married to. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Come, come on out of that. Well, uh, 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 not, not, Kathleen, not this, this is uh, just like the old days. You know, you make me laugh, okay? <laughs> she was married to Porfirio Rubioso. Ru Ru oh, Rubioso. Yeah. Porfirio yeah. Rubioso. Yeah. Right. He had the same car I had. What? He ran around in a Nash? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a 1960 uh, Faisal Vega HK500, very rare car. And uh -huh. He had one too. He was he was killed in his. Really? Yeah. You're still alive, huh? <laughs> I sold it. <laughs> God's like we don't want to admit. Yeah. How much did the Faisal? Also knows it as Edsel. Faisal Vega or whatever it was called <laughs> cost you? Uh, new in 1960, it was 20 grand. <sighs> Today, it's worth maybe 150. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A dollar fifty. Hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Yeah, so how much did you pay for it? Uh, I bought it for a thousand dollars. I had it restored, uh, and I sold it uh, ten years later uh, before they really went up in value. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that but, was uh, a smart I, move I on your part. I in a barn. F smart move on your part. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Well, I, I put in double what it what I sold it for. Yeah. So that wasn't that smart a move, but I should have kept it. Yeah. Uh, I now, just wanted to park inside. Let me ask you this, uh, Phil, and, and all the other people out there, too. Don't you think the heat on Trump is getting a little hotter? No. Well, Rudy, that guy's arrested today. I remember yeah, you yeah. did that? They're trying they to leave with a one-way ticket. <laughs> well, they were Russians. They did have U.S. citizenship. Yeah, they had U.S. citizenship, and they made a deal with the uh, with the Ukrainians for money for Trump's election, and, and, and also several others. and several others as well. Yeah, uh, they but they probably had a one-way ticket to Ibiza. No, I don't know where they were going. It was just anywhere but here. It was pretty much. Well, they went to lunch, but that was it. They they got yeah. a they got a lunch out of Giuliani, and then they went to jail. Oh, really? Yeah, they why, had lunch. Why didn't they head to the airport? That would have been a smarter thing to do. No, they they got... did head to the airport. That's when they bagged them. What? Yes. What were you saying? Uh... They they were at the airport. Yeah. They, uh, first class tickets. Yeah. So when you, when you got first class tickets, you you also get like a snack. Yeah. Before you even get on a plane. Yeah. In the lounge. And they were just about to walk in. Walk up the so up the yeah. Right. Time to walk, walk in. The plank. Yeah, the the, the plank. Right. <laughs> and that guy says, uh, "Can I see your passport, by the way?" Yeah. Whoop! <laughs> You're not getting it back. Yeah. <laughs> you are under arrest. You are. Uh, Drop the peanuts. You, you assume the position. You are, <laughs> you are fucked. Put down that cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. You are and fucked. Get the hell out of the prison. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bend over for the soap. Yeah. But anyway. There's some meme floating around Facebook, and it has a picture of Biden, and it's like, "Do you like subpoena subpoena coladas and making calls to Ukraine?" <laughs> <laughs> Do you like? So uh, I, I wonder, you know, I thought he was—he thought he was going to get a lot of, <laughs> of positive press from this LBGQ town hall. Wait a minute, I don't wait a minute, you're so. changing the subject. Oh, bad. You're that changing the subject because you don't want to talk about this one. About what one? About the arrestees? About more Trump shit. Yes, uh, yes, yes, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. And then Giuliani. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. Face on a mediocre on, can Catherine. of minestrone let, soup. Let, let Jeff on, talk. Let Jeff talk. Just put his mouth open. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this fucking these two characters, if you've seen them, yeah, they look like like uh, muscle men. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like they they came there to kill somebody. Like they, Louis and Vinny Catigliano. <laughs> Right, and then like an there's a picture yeah. of Trump and them. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and 
And uh, Trump says, uh, "You do you know these guys? No, never heard of them. And then so the person says, well, what about this picture of you? Oh, I got pictures for everybody. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> He's the only guy who's never guilty of anything. He's never wrong. He's never wrong. That's not me. That's a body with a pumpkin on the head. Well, you know, speaking of things that you do right and wrong, uh, even the Republicans are agreeing that he was a little wrong in this whole thing with with uh, uh, Tur Turkey and, and, the, and the Kurds. Yeah. Yeah. And as a result, hundreds of Kurds have been killed so far because Turkey immediately, as soon as we left, made a beeline for the border and went after these Kurds. Troops and tanks. But, you know, they, they bombed the uh, detention facility that the ISIS fighters were, was in uh, I, tonight. Yeah. I don't know uh, how many got killed. Well, that is considered against oh. international law yeah. because well, these people were in detention. They were caught. They were prisoners of war. And now you're bombing the very facility they're in? Yeah. That's, uh, I don't, I think that None this of this would have happened if, you know, no. we only had, I think, a couple hundred people in there 50, anyway. 50 people, but they gave them, it's the But, but look, it was that enough that given. it made Turkey stay where they were because they didn't want to take the chance of killing any Americans because they knew they'd be in real trouble if they did that. Well, now uh, Trump said that if they uh, went after the Kurds, mm -hmm. that he was going to put crushing uh, sanctions on Turkey. Uh, maybe, maybe that's what he wanted all along. Uh, because Turkey has been uh, uh, difficult to deal with for uh, the past couple of years since Erdogan uh, took over as president. Hmm. And uh, so there's there's been a lot of uh, uh, issues between Erdogan, the U.S., and and uh, other nations in the Middle Middle East. So they're, 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 this may have been uh, his, the outcome that he wanted. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not happy that the Turks are going in there. And yes, Trump was told by everyone not to do this, not to pull out. Right. And uh, you know, on one hand, he said, "I'm going to get our troops out of Syria." That this was supposed to be a 30-day deal. And but on the other hand, uh, you got to deal with the cards that you're dealt and if this is the hand he was dealt maybe he needed to continue to hold well the, yeah. the, the yes patrick the i don't have a problem with sorry <laughs> was that <laughs> you phil yeah <laughs> only phil would have the most annoying yeah. ringtone it's the like standard ringtone that's for a whole has got that what do you mean i don't have that i don't even know where to find that one Oh. Yeah, I'll send it to you. <laughs> you can put it on my number. I mean, call me, call me right now. You have my number, and you'll hear what my uh, what my thing is like. You know, this is like what your thing is like. Yeah, what my thing is like. Right, call me. Okay. I'm okay. Up. See, I mean, it's just the standard ring. This is like. I would. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got too. The yeah. one that comes with it. Yeah. <laughs> That ring Phil's phone. Listen to that. It's like okay. It's like I, the bells. I, I could have answered my. I could have answered my watch too. Yeah. Oh, you got the watch. Let me, yeah. Do you That's know how to watch? tell time already? Today I forgot my. I forgot my iPhone, and I was out walking around, and my phone, my wrist uh, rang. <laughs> now you're. Uh, you have the new watch that has the uh, built-in Wi-Fi. Yeah, it doesn't have to have the phone within three hundred uh, feet. No, it has it has Wi-Fi and it has uh, it, but it has the built-in you know, Wi-Fi, but it has the built-in phone. Oh, okay. It has the, so, the the phone service. Yeah. Okay, so you have the newer one. I don't I use it that one. much. I wear it either. Wait a minute. Boo on Marty. Long live Stan Lee. Who wrote that? Stan Lee's dead. <laughs> Stan Lee's dead. Wait a minute. Boo on Marty. Marty who? Oh, Scorsese. He. <laughs> He, he's an asshole now. I can't go see that. Oh, he said stand. that he didn't. He didn't. He didn't think that these uh, yeah. these I'm Marvel, wait for Netflix these Marvel now, pictures it, were. It's not cinema. It's, it's not cinema. It's not fucking theater, Marty. It's cinema. Well, I mean, he's an old guy. 
you know, and I, in, in a certain exactly way, we were talking about. In, in a certain way, I agree with him that it's not a movie in the traditional sense. It's more of a, uh, of a, uh, um, amusement ride. Okay. Uh, uh, these films are more like amusement rides. Uh, they're one action sequence after another, you know, but, uh, I don't think you can say that doesn't qualify as cinema because you're, I, I, I agree with that. I mean, you know, you know I think if you, if you want to say, things. look, we have to look at them as amusements, not the same as the kind of movie I made, which tells stories and, you know, evoke a certain it, part of the problem is, is that that kind of movie that he doesn't like is the kind of movie that is doing well in movie theaters now. What's not doing well in movie theaters are the kind of movies he made. They play better on Netflix, and that's where his next film is coming out. I mean, well, I can see that too, Alex, because it's a four-hour picture almost, The what? Irishman. Which one? It's a long time to sit in a the theater. Oh, The Irishman, the new one? It's three and a half hours. When's it, when's it coming out? When's it supposed to be? I can't even watch Jews for four hours, let alone right an Irishman. November. They, what? they only put it in the theaters for a month. It's in the theaters in the city, like actually move playhouses. Yeah. But they, but it's coming to Netflix in November. Yeah, you so see, they, re, the reason they play it in theaters for a while is so that they can get nom get it nominated for an Academy Award. Okay? If it doesn't play a theater, it can't get nominated for an Academy Award. So they, they put a little, like Europa played the theaters for a while, you know. Well, if they want to get it nominated for Academy Award, they just got to go to Weinstein, and uh, you know he'll he'll fix it. Yeah, because he'll 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 uh, get uh, certain people blown for the nomination. Yeah, right. You know, uh, or himself. Well, listen, it, 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 it's Weinstein and his ability to literally sexually harass. No, uh, do the politics it takes to get somebody a, a nomination. Did uh, you hear the Weinstein thing? about uh, uh, NBC, Ronan Farrow, and how oh, NBC, yeah. they said, was uh, trying to protect Weinstein, and uh, also even Hillary uh, it, it was oh. involved with the protection. A protection of, of what, Weinstein? Uh, trying to keep Weinstein from being... Who wrote uh, that, Farrow? Uh, yeah, because Farrow was going after him. And so uh, NBC was trying to protect Weinstein. And, no, uh, that, that's bullshit. Okay, that's Ro I Ronan Farrow. To give it, who gives a shit? Like? Ronan Farrow is a piece of unreliable shit. Okay, here let me explain to you what Ronan Farrow didn't like. The fact was he had this story about Weinstein. He went. He was working for NBC at the time and went to them with the story, and he didn't have enough proof. They vetted the story and said you don't have enough proof yet for us to run the story. Because if they're going to run a story like that, they want to make sure they got their I's dotted and their T's crossed because they could get fucking sued over something like this, you know? And, oh, look who's here. Look who's coming here. I'll get back to that in a second. Remind me where I was. Hold on a second. I got to go to my next uh, hey. thing here and get... Uh, uh, no, that's, uh, you know, we can kind of do away with that, but we want, uh, uh, Lee press on. Let me see here if I can figure out Hi. which is his. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Lee. Hold on. Hold on. What name do you Standing use? By. What name do you use? Oh, E press. There it is. I found it. Okay. So, uh, uh let me just uh, I, I watch works. him okay. about once a week, smoke a cigar. Here, oh, thank you. Here comes Lee <laughs> Presson. Do you remember Lee Presson at all? Uh, of course you remember him. He played on the last <laughs> he played on the last that day that I did a show at Live I did the, he did the last show with us at Live 105 and yep. uh, uh, that you were there, I know because right afterwards we got on a plane and went to Vegas. Yep. And and uh, uh, there's Lee Presson now. Uh, uh, do you still call your uh, do you still call your group Lee Presson and the Nails? That is correct, sir. Okay. I just want people to know they, if they want to go see him somewhere, they look for Lee Presson. Can, can you explain the about the lawsuit of why Presson Nails is, is, is going after you for uh, copyright infringement? I have been waiting for that cease and desist order for <laughs> 25 years, <laughs> and, and it hasn't got... shown up yet. So yeah. I think I'm in the clear. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sounds and, like the penis uh, bagel guy. It, it, yeah, yeah, and he's got uh, he, he you've got all your equipment there, all your keyboards and things like that yes. around. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. And there's even more stuff down here which you can't see. Yeah. It, can you play any of it right now? Well, I suppose. Yeah. Right, let me just give it. A let try. me start up the program. Here, I will. Uh, I will go to you. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Okay. Uh, nobody, everybody else be quiet. Otherwise, uh, we won't have his picture. Wait a minute. Oh. Here we, here we go. He, he's go, uh, here. Don't, uh, yeah. Here, here we go. He's, he, he, please, you're not breaking up on us. Okay. No, no, not. No, I was pulling a Chevy chase on you. Yeah. <coughs> Because that's what happens on Skype sometimes. I'm talking to somebody and it's... Yes. Yeah. It's a very complicated program. It takes a while to start up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hey! There you go. <laughs> that's it, huh? That's all he ever learned, folks. He just learned that. Yes. That was it. I do that all yeah. the time. Yeah, does you know, that do all the time. Stuff. I didn't want to bore you with a full demonstration. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. I can I can play all kinds of stuff on this thing. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, Give you an idea. Let me call up the Spike Jones phone. Oh, the Spike Jones phone. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how many people remember Spike Jones, but uh, here Spike we go. Spike Jones and the City Slickers. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, you are so much fun you are so much fun oh, thank you very much we just happen to have a new album out as long as i've got the stage here yeah yeah what's the new new album comes out on the comes out on the 25th of this month and it's called last request oh okay all righty yeah. And uh, 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 is that going to be available online? Is that what it is? Because today, yes. when they say I'm releasing an album, nobody rushes over with vinyl any longer. You know, right? Exactly. Well, yeah. we're still we're still making CDs because I'm a traditionalist. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and it'll be available on Amazon and iTunes and streaming and and uh, whatever the the Spotify and the YouTube's yeah. and all all the fun things. Well, let us know where it is. Maybe we will, if you give us permission. Is it all original music? Oh, no, no. no oh. It's not what we do. Oh, well, then I can't play it because if it's, you know, already copywritten music. I. Oh, don't worry. We paid for the copyright. Go right ahead. Yeah, but I don't. Do is... Oh, okay. It's what a we weird... do is we take really, really old songs and present them as new. You know, it'd be nice if the music industry said, Alex, you're poor. You have this little thing that doesn't make you any money at all. Play anything you want. You know. Oh. The uh, the only guy that ever gave me permission uh, years ago uh, to use his music was, uh, I think it was Cy Coleman. No. Hmm. It was um, a very famous uh, 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 music writer and, and entertainer. <laughs> He was also married to some famous. No, he he wrote. Uh, they're playing our song. Uh, oh, uh, and uh, he on. let you use it on uh, Midnight, Midnight Blue. Blue. Yeah, uh, um, but it wasn't that guy. It was. I no, forget his really? name. Really? Okay. Uh, it was uh, a famous guy. Yeah, yeah, I know he was. Kind of like Lee. <laughs> yeah. Well, why can't I remember? Hi. Why I was can... famous twenty years ago. Okay. So was Alex. They're, they're playing our song. <laughs> oh, we have uh, uh, fr uh, uh, Bree is is calling us. Uh, is 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 joining us uh, here. Uh, let me see. Let me uh, go here and get him. He's in the number eight slot. We're almost filled up here. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, Bree free. I got to find Bree free. Uh, you know, no. No. Uh, a Bree. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and then I do yeah. that, and I do that, and he should. But you're, we don't have a picture out of you yet, however. <clears throat> well, I can give you that, but you were saying it doesn't work for me here. Well, let's uh, let's see. Yesterday. Turn it on, and let's see. Okay. okay. I, I actually don't have my headset. Today. Let's see if you if you got it there. Let me see. No, no it's yeah, still the same, same as, as it yesterday. was. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it looks terrible. 
It looks like HBO when you don't pay for it. You know. <laughs> hey, groovy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Uh, uh, sh she's making, uh, what are you doing? What are you getting? What? what uh, get some for us. <laughs> it's vitamin B12. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hand me some. Hand me some. Go get some. Go get some. Get the whole bottle. Okay. Okay. And hand it over to me. Okay. There we go. I got it. Hey, I got hey, it. Look at that. I got she it. She doesn't got the Kirkland. Huh? Oh, she doesn't uh, have the Kirkland. Is the Kirkland? Yeah, it's it, Kirkland. It, it immediately changed from a brand name to Kirkland. No, <laughs> yeah, Kirkland. That, that's what happens when it travels through a modem. Yeah. Ew. By the way, I don't always I've, survive I've, with the brand intact. Yeah, I've oh. got I've got a major a uh, major problem now. Uh, I I have this uh, this lyrica that he gave me. It's not. It's a generic lyrica. It's called the Pergabalin. Okay, and oh. I take two of these a day. I take one at night and I go to sleep. I sleep like a baby. All right, I cry a lot, uh, and then uh, I wake up and it <laughs> about spit two, up just a little bit. About <laughs> one o'clock in the afternoon, I take a second pill. It says take two a day. It gets me so fucking high, I can't believe it. But it's been helping my feet. But man, I am just loopy. I'm bouncing into walls, you know. And very gassy. Very and I think gassy. I'm getting addicted to it. <laughs> That's the other bad part about it. But my feet are feeling so much better as a result of it. So you know. Um, when do you go to Bri, the Bri is, Bri is Bree is giving up because he says he'll call tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, Bree. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Uh, yes, Ray. I, I had to, when I took Lyrica like seven years ago, I was in a, in a show where I had to be on stage the whole time and I was sitting for long periods of time and I was falling asleep on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I never got hired there again. I think that's why. Did you, did you, get, did you get high? I from, had to stop taking it. Did you get high from the stuff? Yeah, I get high and sleepy. Like as soon as I sat down, yeah. I start falling asleep. Yeah. Like within a, two minutes. They probably thought he was on the hair wrong. Well, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it for about two days and uh, see what happens. You know. Yeah, I found if I took it for like two or three days and then stopped and then no. waited and then if I needed to, I take it again. That way, I wouldn't get addicted well, to it. It was helping a lot. It was kind of working, all right. Yeah. And then, um, but not enough. And then when I started taking it twice a day, I suddenly noticed, hey, my feet are feeling better. You know, yeah. Uh, you got to be careful. All your hair fell out. Uh, <laughs> really, I got to blow know, my and, nose. And it could be the lyric. You were like feet. What feet? Yes, yes. What feet? Anyway. So when do you see the chiropractor? Next Tuesday. Now, if you continue taking this stuff, and the and you you won't know whether the, what the chiropractor's doing works or doesn't work. Well, then I can complain he does it doesn't work. Yeah, but it, wouldn't you rather... I always have to have uh, something to complain fix about. Fix it without drugs? Huh? Wouldn't you rather fix this neuropathy without drugs if oh, you Oh, no. Not if the drugs are good. Oh, all right. Okay. I mean, I don't know about <laughs> about Patrick, but oh. if I had what Patrick has, I'd be taking any drug they'd give me. Do they uh, offer you painkillers at all, uh, Patrick? Or what? I can't feel half my body. Oh, okay. Well, then you have a natural numbing factor going there. Do you yeah, have? But... Do wait a minute. Do you have neuropathy? You know it. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> I have to be careful with medication anyway because of transferring. And a couple of years ago, um, when I had to get one of my kidney stones removed, they put me on an antibiotic. Yeah. He had a uh, urinary tract infection. Uh -huh. that found, so they put me in an antibiotic before surgery, like two days before. And I don't remember what it was, but I took it and the room started spinning. And I wasn't even able to transfer into my bed, which would be the easiest because you can just flop down on it. Yeah. And, um, no, you, so I don't take anything that, that gets me dizzy or anything like that. Yeah. And I have to be 100% in control. Otherwise, I could slip and fall or, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that was those government uh, LSD experiments that you participated in? 
Yes. Yeah. So, what what kind of <laughs> cigar are you smoking, Lee? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my uh, my computer's on fire. Uh, it's uh, it's just incense. Don't worry about a thing. Uh, oh, that's okay incense. That, they want that isn't a cigar. No, it's not. Why are Although you doing I do smoke cigars? I hate incense. That's like vape incense. You know, uh, look how much uh, smoke is coming from that. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm broadcasting from hell. Welcome from hell. <laughs> well, that's the album cover, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like that album cover. Near the souls of the damned. It's, you know, it's very cozy down here. Yeah. You're in a purple it. haze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a haze. yeah, it's true. Yeah. 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 Uh, so anyway, uh, let me see here. So uh, uh, in the news, anything else? What, what, what have we, you know? We got we we've got the, we've got the Kurds who are and the way and the way yes somebody somebody has Kurds in their way and and uh, I I feel sorry for the Kurds you know and I I think that and and the Republicans are actually complaining to Trump that he made a bad decision there yeah they didn't want yeah. this uh, yeah Patrick I don't know that it's a bad decision incomplete but bad timing. Um, you know, I don't know that we need to be in Syria forever yeah. since Kurds are not a country. There are people living in Syria or in Iraq or, you know, various countries. However, what Trump did is the same idiotic shit that Obama did which is alert everybody to when we're going to withdraw. And then everybody... He didn't alert. So, Actually, he just pulled out. Right. But what he should have done... That's what Melania is, said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, but the, the Turk, they did, they were aware that this was happening. And then... When Trump said we're leaving so that none of our people get hurt, that's not a good signal to send to the world. He so, had an agreement from Erdogan that Erdogan would not go after the uh, Kurds. It doesn't matter. You don't say that out loud. There's some shit that you don't say out loud. And that's the problem with Trump is he can't keep his mouth shut on a lot of stuff. And that's one of them that even if he had the agreement... You don't say that to people. And you what? withdraw, and you leave it alone. And then, as Trump did say, if something were to happen there that ISIS were to reappear, we can always go back. We have bases in the Middle East. We don't need to be in Syria mm -hmm. as a base. However, the other thing is, and I think we all know this, we still have U.S. troops in Syria. A yeah. thousand of them. Yeah, it's just not a force like, you know, that we wouldn't be able to take them on with what we have, but we're there. These just, guys were training Kurds. The 50 guys that he pulled out, you know, uh, and, you know, he just put them on a bus, sent them, sent them back to Iraq. But the 50 guys he pulled out uh, were trained, were tr there to train the Kurds, not to fight. They weren't a military presence, uh, but... Uh, what he said was, "Let's, you know, we can't be here for but 20 years." They say years. that these the Kurds have been very effective fighters against uh, ISIS, and uh, they were very valuable in that respect. And now you've got Erdogan going in there trying to wipe them out. Yeah, I, and that and and that the thing is, uh, there is some um, we owe them some some sort of debt. And I don't know what that is, though. I don't know that we need to be there forever protecting them. Yeah. Um, because they they are a formidable force, but are they able to maintain their own little mm -hmm. area in Syria on their own? I don't know. Right. Uh, and that's the problem. And they don't have a country. <laughs> they are a guest people in Syria, just like in Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I, we would be in a three-way war 
between Turkey, Syria, and the Kurds. And there we are trying to play referee. Well, you know, who who are we protect? I mean, do we start firing on the Turks? Do we start firing on Syrians to protect the Kurds? No, but I think the you fact if, if we were still in there, as I said, Turkey would have stayed where they were. Not because we didn't have a lot of people in there, but we had enough that they they didn't want to take the chance of killing any Americans because that would cause a bigger problem for Turkey and one they I, didn't want to have. I agree, but how long do we stay there? Because you know that well, you know we've got people we've got people staying at the South Pole for years, you know, in bigger numbers. <laughs> well, I, for I, fun, I, but it's the thing <clears throat> is. We're in South Korea, you know, we're in, we're in uh, Germany, we're in all over the world. Do we need to be in Syria? And the only reason we're in Syria at this point is to protect the Kurds. And is that our duty to protect the Kurds or was our mission just to eliminate ISIS? Mm -hmm. And at some point, we need to get... You know, they need to be on their own. Mm -hmm. And if Turkey was going to attack them, it was going to be either two days ago or in three years or in six years or five years ago. Yeah. So that, you know, I mean, it, it, there's no good answer to it. I think the timing was terrible. But, you know, now now we'll see what happens. And, yeah. and the only good thing is we can go right back there very quickly, if need be. Alex uh, Lee has his hand up. Yes, Lee. I, I, I have a theory as to why um, Boss Baby made this decision, and it's a three-word theory. Trump Tower, Istanbul. Yes, there is a Trump Tower in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. They have discount coupons now. No, yeah, now you're making a joke. <laughs> but, I mean, it, let's be very honest. There is, there, you get a free in benefit. fact, they are the twin... Uh, Trump Towers. There are two towers mm -hmm. within the complex. Yeah. Uh, yes. Again, the emolument clause. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly, Ray. The emolument clause. I mean... Uh -huh. Trying to starve the guy out. He can't make a living. You know, he's got a, he's got a company, again. other people. He's, he's got hundreds of employees. Oh, my God. They, well, tell me. Know, he's, thre he's threatening to destroy uh, Istanbul's economy, but we know he's not going to because Trump Tower Istanbul. Well, we'll see. Uh, you know, he said to uh, Erdogan that if uh, you uh, uh, mess with the Kurds, uh, I'll cripple your economy. He can't cripple their economy. That's a joke. How's he going to do that? He's done a pretty good job well, to Iran. He's crippling ours okay. Yeah, but he can't. I don't he know. He can't what. just go cripple an entire country that's an ally like that. There's no way. Uh, Sorry. Maybe he's just he going to do it to Patrick. Well, let's face it, this is a president who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, and he doesn't ask anybody's opinion when he does it. Supposedly, he didn't go to the military or anybody to get a reading on what he was going to do with uh, pulling the uh, troops out of, uh, out of Syria. That, that's not true. This was, uh, I understand that he had talked to the people in the Pentagon two weeks before he made the decision. He also talked to Erdogan and a number of other uh, leaders uh, about this decision. Uh, it just wasn't uh, something that was released to the news. Well, we get the idea that he, he was pulling this one out of his ass. Well, he's been promising this for a long time. And uh, this is, Phil, he said this is what he Phil, ran on. Phil, it's time for you to admit this guy is not ready for prime time as a president. I love Donald Trump. I, I would uh, buy his new hat if it was a different design. You know, I... I, I I am so proud of what he did in Minnesota today, uh, having those cops. There there was a uh, what, what mayor did, what did he in do the in, town what did where he, do he in did. Minnesota now. Well, today he had a uh, a town hall, uh, as he usually does. And uh, what happened was the mayor of the town where uh, in Minnesota where yeah. this was taking place told the police officers that they couldn't wear their uniform to uh, to go to this Trump rally. So they had T-shirts printed, said cops for Trump. 
and there was a sea of red Cops for Trump T-shirts there, and he had them come up on the stage. I I I love this guy, and I love what Those he's doing. Brown shirts. Yeah. Those are his brown shirts. Those are his brown shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, t- uh, only yes, after you wash it. Patrick. 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 <laughs> I, his hand up. I didn't watch the rally because I never watched the rally. I did see snippets of what Phil talking about. And I did have to smile just because I knew it would irritate people. But my, my favorite part was afterward, I got out of shower and I turned on the news and I turned on Fox, and there were already protesters against Trump. And what I don't understand, and maybe one of y'all can enlighten me as to protesting, but everybody is screaming at the police officers who were creating a barrier and they're screaming, and they're all saying different things. I, I could do some lip reading on the screen because they're mostly profanities, and I'm pretty good at you know knowing what those are. Um, what the fuck is the purpose of screaming at the cop? I mean, all they're doing is screaming, and the police are standing there as they should, just staring straight ahead or looking, making sure that there's nobody pulling weapons or anything like that. And it's just a mob of people either locked in arms or they're running up to a cop, getting right in their face, screaming, and then running back. What the hell are you accomplishing? Patrick, that was B-roll from Hong Kong. Uh, they 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 were just uh, you know using the same protesters in Hong Kong and they were putting them in front of the Trump rally. But they yeah. yeah, white people. Right? Yeah. Black and green. yeah. <laughs> now everybody say I hate Trump at the same time. <laughs> they all look suspiciously Chinese though. <laughs> don't the yeah, I, I don't think Patrick was done. Yes, Patrick. Um, they surrounded the building, the protesters and the cops kept them at bay so that, you know, the people who are attending the rally could leave them. But I don't understand, with, like I said, with the protests, what, it, what gets accomplished by just screaming into the air? Well, you know, I t- uh, Patrick, let me, let me say to you that this whole argument about protesters and what do they think they're accomplishing has been a statement that's been made for the last, 50 years, whenever there's been a demonstration. Uh, I think, oh, the kitty, the little kitty. Uh, uh, Oh, everybody bring, we should have everybody bring their pets. How's your pet doing, by the way, Phil? Uh, She's um, maybe got a month. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, she's pretty good. Uh, She's recovered well from the operation, but the cancer's going to take her. uh, And it's such an aggressive cancer. They said 60 days yeah, uh, and it, and it's been almost a month. So, okay. Anyway, back to what we were talking about here. Uh, uh, you know this this idea that uh, oh, what do these protesters attempt to want to accomplish? Uh, I think what they're doing is they're exercising their right of free speech. Okay, period. And uh, mm-hmm. they get a little invigorated by doing it. Sometimes they do things that are a little uh, aggressive. You know, but I mean. I, I don't think it's not in the great American tradition, you know. How about all the pre-printed signs that say pr- uh, provided by the George Soros Fund? I don't care. Isn't I don't care dead? who makes the signs. Isn't he dead? Soros? No. No, I don't care who makes the signs, you know. And and you can't prove that anyway, Phil. Yeah, it says yeah. right on the bottom. Yeah, yeah right. It's a <laughs> product of Soros Industries. Yeah, right. <laughs> I did this. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I you know, you have to... Can I say? I mean, you, you know, uh, these uh, protesting. I think is something that we should never question people doing. You know, no, it's it's supposed to be nonviolent protests. It's when it's when they're throwing. Rocks I don't and agree bottles. with you, Phil. I don't huh? agree with nonviolent protest. I think a, a a protest has to be measured in what the necessity is. If your frustration is enough that you don't feel you're being heard, then you're going to get violent. And I think it's funny, Phil, but and let me say this in all honesty. 
Violence is something that only this country understands. Until any group gets violent, they don't pay attention to them. Wait, you know, let me finish. You know, the civil rights movement, nobody was paying attention. A bunch of, bunch of N-words, right, out there trying to get some kind of freedom and whatever. But when the Black Panthers came along, they started to listen. They went, yes, they're violent. Look at them, they're violent. But it scared them enough to want to keep people pacified. And, and so violence, I think, is a very good weapon. They were when a bunch you're of crooks, the no, Black no, if, I don't care what you say about them. They made a big change because people said, you know, we don't like them. They're really dangerous. Let's make the ones that aren't dangerous happy so they don't go with them. Okay? So I see violence as a very legitimate form of protest. Well, you know, we've had uh, legitimate that. protests yeah. and free speech yeah. since the beginning of the of this union. Uh, you know, what do they have the uh, the People's Square or the you know where they'd stand on a soapbox? No, and, that was in England. And, well, no, we had it. <laughs> That's here, in too. England. Oh, it's called Hyde well, Park. So, <laughs> anyway, pa uh, Patrick's got army his... training films from the fifties. Yeah, Patrick's got his hand up. I, I but you, it, I still don't understand what screaming at the police officers who have no ability to do whatever the fuck it is that these people want to do. And, and let me just say this. It provided me for with entertainment while you were doing your technical difficulty stuff. <laughs> I was <laughing> my <laughs> ass off watching these knobs screaming into the air and accomplishing as much as I do when I take a shit. You know, maybe I feel good when I take a shit, and that's about it. You know, so if they feel good, you know, yelling into the air, I guess good for them, but they, they didn't accomplish anything. Well, you know, they, they tried they put, to let me build... put it this way. Let me put it this way. The person who said it best about violence was, uh, was, was Lawrence Welk, who said, I like violence and saxophones <laughs> and pianos. Anyway. What? You know, they try to charge Trump for security five hundred twenty-five thousand uh, dollars at at this particular function uh -huh. tonight. Whereas when Obama spoke there, they only charged twenty thousand dollars. Well, the city recanted and changed their uh, yeah. Changed but let their me deal. say this: I don't care what they charge him; they're never going to see it because right now Trump and his people are being hit with huge bills from towns where they haven't paid off what they owed them. He, they, in fact, they own El Paso right now for the the, uh, the thing they held there. They owe them the most. They owe them four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. They haven't paid them. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Well, I know but you I, don't, but, but go but, look uh, it up. But I, I do I know. Read it today in the news. You read it? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on. I know about that. Ray, Ray said he heard about it, right, Ray? Yeah. I, oh yeah, I read I read the whole article. Yeah. In, in I heard about paper, it quite a bit yeah. today. The Communist News Network or. Uh, the, you no, know, this is a real no, story, no. Phil. No, yeah, it's okay. A real newspaper. Well, you know, maybe they just Rick didn't get up, paid Phil. yet. You know, I, I have to wait. No, a long they time. have been yeah. trying. They've they've been been paid. That's the whole yeah. point. Wait, wait a minute. Let, let Lee say something. Lee, what were we going to say? I didn't say much. I, I just said they had, they didn't get paid yet. That's the whole point. Right. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. it takes time. Months and months, years and years. Yeah. Occasionally. How long ago was El Paso? How long ago was El Paso, Phil? I. I think it was recent. It was not as recent as you think. Time goes by pretty fast. Yeah. You know. But, I mean, they uh, haven't seen their money. A lot of towns, a year or so has passed, they haven't seen their money. They keep sending the bill. They keep getting rejected. And there's a little thing where I think a president can't, doesn't have to pay his bills. Well, that's good. Uh, uh, you, know. you know, I'm a president of a corporation, but I am forced to pay mine. Uh, the uh, the uh, anyway, what happens is when Republicans want to speak, whether it's the president or other Republicans that go to universities, they they get they encounter situations where they have uh, so much uh, uh, security. What, what, what are you laughing at, Kathleen? Wait, wait. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when when Republicans want to speak, they get guys that are trying to vomit in the background. But uh, <laughs> the uh, what happens is, you know, they go to University of California and it costs them thousands and thousands of dollars in security because the left wing does not allow want to allow them free speech 
like they want. Yeah. So you want protesters and you have protesters out there. But when it comes to allowing free speech from <laughs> my side, you don't want that. Is that a Stradivarius have you're you playing, ever Ray? Berkeley? Huh? <laughs> Did I ever what? Did have you ever been, been to Berkeley? Berkeley? I used oh. to live there. Okay. Then you know how nuts it is. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. that's and that's that should be right a, did, but Lee, it should be a bastion is because we didn't want them there. It should be a bastion of free speech. That's the whole idea is that's what Berkeley is all about. And 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 the and the truth is that there is there is uh Nazi like as you could possibly imagine. The, this anti Well, I, I, I have to, I have to, I can't argue with you, Phil. No one's going to go to. Because if anybody well. knows what a Nazi is, it's you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, did you, did you leave your, uh, your little SS things uh, in the closet? No, I, but I, 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 but you tattooed me before I came over to your house. Oh, all right. Oh, boy. I've got an SS thing, but it's only because I belong to the Simon Says Club. Oh, yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. By the way, I want to mention that uh, uh, Kathleen is wearing a Marvel, what is that, a Marvel shirt? Yep. What is that, Marvel, Marvel Comics, right? And I've had it forever, and my friends are like, you need to get rid of that thing, and I'm like, nope. Nope. It's my nope. Marvel okay. shirt? Look, look sh show it to them a second. Just <laughs> We, we don't want to see yeah, we don't want to see the shirt we wanted to see the jugs yeah. but anyway wow. yeah. 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 make mine marvel yeah weren't those marvels ladies and gentlemen i'm yes. i'm asking hey, you. tony sent me a captain america shirt i'm not I wearing did. it but uh i can show you my jugs <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> yeah. see this is what you don't have yeah by the There's way, this thing on Facebook called Tracy Rants and Raves, and people put the stupidest stuff up about the city of Tracy. And so apparently there's these two Romany gypsies that are floating around, and the guy goes into these parking lots, and he asks if you need body work. So I happen to be going to the grocery store to Safeway, and he approaches me, and he goes, do you need body work? And I said, no, dude, I'm good. And so when I, when I put my comment, yeah. I said, no, man, I'm good. Everyone was like, well, yeah, right. He's not going to do anything to you. You're built like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys who want to do body work get aggressive. I had a little bump in the little plastic thing in my rear fender, yeah. and the guy followed me, and he kept dropping his price. He started at 1000 then he went to 100 and I said, no, I don't want it. I'm, I'm getting a new, different kind of upgraded bumper. So, uh, 25, 10, I'll pay you $8. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. These guys are aggressive. Finally, yep. he was so aggressive. I took a picture of his license plate. He didn't like that. By the way, the guy who, who wrote, they're playing our song. I, how could I forget this? Marvin Hamlish. Hamlish, right. And he That's actually, oh, yeah. he actually liked Midnight Blue and I was using it as the theme song. And I, somebody from his office called and she said, uh, you're using, they're playing our song as your opening. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, here it comes, cease and desist. Uh, don't play the music any longer. She says, Marvin wanted me to call you and tell you he loves the show and you can keep using it. He, ha You oh, have his yeah. permission. And you can use any other song that he has. Wow, that was nice. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, let me, let, me, let me ask uh, uh, Tony Isn't something, great? by the way. Tony, you're, you're a big comic book fan. Oh, yeah. Do you watch yeah. the comic book TV shows? You know, I tell you the truth, I don't watch all of them. My brother watches more than me. I cut back on my TV viewing, Alex, to tell you the truth. Because last night, Riverdale, Riverdale was incredible. Oh, I know they did a thing for Luke Perry. I taped it. Yeah, Luke Perry, who played Archie's father on the show, died. Yeah. Uh, yeah. a, 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 a heart attack just kind of immediately. No, he had a stroke. Stroke, Well, stroke, and then he died. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, uh, they 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 had to write him out of the show. Like, and most times when they write people out of shows, they do an episode and they get rid of them somehow, right? This thing was beautiful. It Martin was Martin just Martin. overwhelming. It, was it, it was, emotional? It was or? very emotional. Oh, and, I got a while. I haven't done just, this, so I didn't see it. Was, it was. It's like they took a they they took a left turn on their show and decided to do this thing. They got very emotional about the death of, of his father. But what they did it with was a certain duality there. They were uh, saying goodbye to his f character, but they were also uh -huh. saying goodbye to him 
at the same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Did you watch it at all, uh, yeah. Kathleen? You saw it. Oh, yeah. I like Riverdale. Okay, what did you I think? What did you What did you think? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I mean, was it was a tear for me? It was a tearjerker. Oh, wow! Yeah. So I'm going to have to watch. Yeah. I have it on tape, so I'll. On do you, do you watch so Riverdale watch on a regular basis? Uh, no, no I'm, at, and I'm asking Kathleen. Oh, uh, it's hit and miss, depending because I don't watch a lot of TV. Yeah, well, I'm glad you, really you watched it. Really did die, huh? Yeah. Luke Perry actually died. Yes, yeah. yes, he actually Where died. Have you been? Where have you been? I don't watch so these morons. Like no, but you, know? you read the news, don't you? When he died, it was like a big deal it on every newscast. It wasn't news to me, you know. Mm -hmm. I, 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 the last time I saw him, he was on 90210. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was it was really the yeah, show last years night. Ago. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched this thing and I went, what a I'm good gonna... piece of television this is. Oh, wow. You know? so that's good. I like the show. It's on Netflix, too. They picked it up, Netflix, so you can always catch up on it. But I did tape that, yeah. I didn't see it yet. Yeah, I knew they were doing Riverdale's special Riverdale's a good, I think, not a bad little show, you know. Uh, and Batwoman, if you haven't seen oh, Batwoman. I haven't seen it. Is it good? Seen, yeah. Oh, I love Batwoman. It's a great show. Yeah. I didn't see who it. Else, I heard who, two who, things about Batwoman. One, that it's very good, and two, that it's very bad. So I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I've heard the same you know. thing. I have yet to see it, but I've heard that it's very good and it's very bad. I've heard mixed up about <laughs> I've it. Heard, I think it's very good. And she's okay. a, she, a, bat, a bat woman. I think it's very bad. Bat woman, who is Kate <laughs> Kane, uh, is, a, uh, is a lesbian. And, and it's, yes. it's full on les here. I mean, there's some love so scenes. Is Biden. No, there's some, there's some les scenes, uh, lesbian scenes in this show. And she's just full on. There's no, you know, it's not like, oh, well, I'm kind of bi and I go out with guys. Oh, yeah. No, Bat nothing Woman like is that. A, Bat Woman is a lesbian character. You know what they should do? Was she, was she a lesbian character in the comic books? Uh, yes, yeah, she I'm was. Sure, but she might have been. Yeah. Who was Wonder, the, uh, Wonder Woman was, was thought to be a lesbian by lesbian. No, so she's an Amazon. Um, now, yeah. She's kind of she like Kathleen. She's an Amazon. There's a there's a great there's a great line from a, a Wonder Woman comic where she's talking to Superman and she says, Clark, my country is all woman. Where I where I'm from, it's not gay marriage, it's just marriage. Yeah, right. What else are you yeah. gonna do if there are no guys around, right? Right. Exactly. If, if, it's if prison Wonder Woman marriage. Really, oh, I was gonna tell you something. If Wonder Woman really existed it's, and she threw that magic lasso around Trump, he can't lie then. We could find out his taxes and everything. Richard Johansson is calling right now. What? We've got three minutes left, Richard. I'm not going to answer this. Well, wait a minute. Come we on. Get... He's, he's either he's in a Thailand or Norway. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Thailand or Norway? Yeah, what do you mean Thailand or Norway? Norway? Wait a minute. Let me see Norway. if I can, if I can uh, find him here. Uh, let oh. me see here. Lee Presson. Oh, there he is. I think. It, no, 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 I saw him no, just for a couple of seconds, a, oh, and then that, he went away. Oh, they went away? Richard, what's your uh, Skype name? Oh, okay, then what, what, he's not here anymore, supposedly. Yeah, I, I, I'm here. Oh, you're, you're there. Here. What name What name are you using? I, I, I don't really know. You, <laughs> you got to do it fast before I get, because I have to get on, I'm going to yeah, get I, off the air. Yeah, he doesn't really know. Is it weird, Ricardo? No. Who's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's weird, Ricardo? Yeah, okay. that's my mail, mail, email. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see. Weird Ricardo. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Weird Ricardo. Uh, hey. And, and you're calling from where again, Richard? Uh, excuse me. What did you say? Huh? Where I'm calling from? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Norway. Norway. Well, he's in Norway. So. Yeah, it's it's oh. it's back. No back way. Norway. Yeah. Norway. <laughs> Norway. <laughs> Jeez, my camera, my camera is a little bit slow. I can see that. No, you look fine. You look fine. You're looking very. Oh good. yeah. Okay. Oh okay. I just made it. Well, a, the camera it's, looks it's, fine. Richard, you, that's a there? different story. Yeah. Oh, we haven't oh, heard okay. from well, quickly, Richard. We haven't heard from you in a while. What have you been doing? Uh, well, I've been on uh, medication for epilepsy. Yeah. So. Uh, and it seems to work out. So yeah, uh, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping. Did it's... you get the epilepsy due to the what MMA fighting or something you used to do? Um, well, it's just, or uh, hockey or whatever it was. 
uh, three, four, uh, soccer, yeah, about, uh, now it's, uh, it's, gen it's uh, genetic, it's genetic. Oh, yeah. yeah, my father and uh, my brother had it too, so. Wow. So, uh, it's suddenly, it came suddenly. Yeah. Just, mm. just, just out of the blue, so. <laughs> well, it's nice. We now have a full bunch of people here and a little show left, and people are not watching as much. What, what do we do? We didn't do anything tonight to scare them off. You know, last night we didn't talk about politics, and I saw on YouTube Into the there football was two game. down fingers. What, what, what is that? Who gives a down finger to your show? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 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 Those were the window kitties. I remember they were in the kitchen. Boy, they have survived over the years. That's terrific. Totally. You didn't break the tail. Nope. 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 Anyway, uh, there's our theme. Hey, boy, a uh, nice little uh, show tonight, uh, even though we got on late. And uh, uh, I think it was uh, we should get on late every night. That would be fine. Uh, thank you, Kathleen. Love having you here. You know, I, I really think your participation in the show has made it 50% better. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. And keep doing it, too. Phil, of course, uh, you can leave us anytime. We don't give a shit. Uh, you know. <laughs> Now, you you help make the show as well. Tony, good talking to you. Huh? We had a little comic talk there for a second. Jeff, glad to have you back from your vacation. Uh, Patrick, you. we love you, of course. You're our, you're, you're our mascot. And uh, Ray, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Lee Presson. Call us more, Lee, will you? And we nice. will, yes. And Last request, available on 25th of this month. Okay, and Richard... Give us a call too, more often. Yeah. All right. We love sure. that. We love having sure. you on. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I uh, just want to say to all of you, why don't you uh, uh, kind of uh, start waving goodbye, and I will wave back at you, and the whole audience will wave back at you, and that's oh, that's that's it. Oh, there's a, there's a, he's going away. I pushed the wrong button. Okay. Anyway, thanks everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's our show for tonight. I'm going to get off of here. Uh, the um, the next show up is, of course, let me turn this off here, uh, is uh, The Intersection with Jack Bishop. And he'll be here next over most of this same gab net. We'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what? Tell her I love her. Okay? Bye bye I pushed the wrong button.